hi guys in this video we'll have a look on how to design a talent integration job and how to lay out different components on the canvas in the most efficient and most optimized way before moving on maybe I want to tell you that I have uh, one of the recent uploads or ETL tools better than coding maybe if you're interested you can have a look on my channel link is also in the description apart from that in this series I would like to cover different aspects of uh, talent best practices so this is the first video in this series and later on it will be focusing on uh, different talent job design best practices talent jobs optimization and different development guidelines so and this all will be f following in the follow-up tutorials so if you guys haven't subscribed so subscribe right now so that you don't miss any updates now let's dive into the main video so we want to we want to discuss how efficiently and how to uh, design a talent integration job in the best possible way. So there are different people who are following randomly different approaches. For example, you can see one of the snapshot in the picture. Maybe there are some people who are coming up like this. They start moving from one point and then when they finish, they move on to the next row. Apart from that, some people follow such strategies. Most important thing is that your design should be readable and should be maintained so let's uh, properly look on the first layout that people are following this is known as the zigzag layout so you start moving from left to right and as soon as you finish your data flow you move to the next row and then you finish the row then you move on to the next row so you keep on moving this this way the most I would say the the biggest problem with this approach is this is difficult to maintain it's even difficult to read so some of the I would say major problems with this one is maintainability if you want to add more functionality into it it's difficult to see how to split where to split it's a complicated flow and this is difficult to read so that was first the second approach is known as a snake layout some people follow this one so they randomly start moving from one point usually that's the top left of the canvas and then they start moving in any direction they just go up, keep on moving down somewhere right somewhere left and they just try to make the job done without seeing how efficiently they're putting the components on the campus this is literally the most difficult thing the most difficult design to read it's complicated it's once again the same problems like the previous approach so the recommended approach is top to bottom and left to right so the process flow is moving from top to bottom and the data flow is moving from left to right and this is also officially recommended by talent experts so you split this process flow using on sub job ok trigger and then you use on component ok for the data flow so as I previously said process flow and data flow it's then maintainable it's readable and you can easily make updates so let's consider this one as the phase one of this process so the second phase will be the second row the third phase will be the third row so if you want to add new functionality in phase three you can simply drop a component or add a new component and this one and this is not going to affect the rest of the phases which is which is great and then we have the last phase so this is the recommended approach uh, I think you guys have uh, got benefited from this video thanks a lot for watching the video subscribe and stay tuned